Well, Governor Dan McKee, along with Rhode Island Housing, announcing more than $100 million in funding from a number of federal and state resources to help combat the housing crisis across the state. Our Matt Paddock joins us now with the details. Matt? Kim, with the more than $100 million in funding, more than 1,400 units across 13 municipalities are on their way. Today is a big deal for Rhode Island. An announcement of more than 1,400 units of housing was made at this morning's Rhode Island Housing Monthly Board meeting, with more than 1,200 of those set to be affordable. Uh, and for Rhode Island to be an attractive place to live and work and raise a family, uh, we must address the availability of quality housing. But what is affordable? According to data shared by RI Housing, 353 units are set aside for those at 30% of the area median income. So for one of those units in Providence, a four-person household, they would need to be making less than about $31,000 a year. So it's no secret that uh, Rhode Island has housing challenges uh, at multiple levels. 784 other units will be made available for those making a bit more. To qualify, a four-person household would need to be making between $31,000 and $82,000 a year. The remaining 344 units will be for middle-income households or market-rate units. The Secretary of Housing, Stephen Pryor, also acknowledging these units will take time to be built. It's important for us to note these units will not sprout out of the ground overnight. Um, it will require that these projects move uh, to their closing, that they break ground. So full completion is, of course, years away. And all the items at today's board meeting did pass. And for a breakdown of the spending, head over to our website at WPRI.com. Reporting live in studio, Matt Paddock, 12 News.